Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Jacob. This is uh, doing a first video in probably like about a month. Um, we uh, we just moved to Texas from North Carolina. In between that, we stopped in Pennsylvania for a couple weeks to see the family for Thanksgiving. This I'm just gonna do a quick story about uh, our dogs and jumping out of our car on the middle of the highway in North Carolina for almost four hours, couldn't find them. Um, so what happened was, we were driving, they were in the back of my car, my wife and my kids were in the car behind me following, and I decided to stop and fix the, the bungee cord because the plastic part kept banging on the window, didn't want it to crack the window. So I got out and on the side of the road of the highway to fix it and I wasn't paying attention and the dogs jumped out of the car. Ran across the road, cars slamming on the brakes, people honking, stuff like that. So they're huskies, right? And they, I know it's like in their breed to want to run and run and run. We chose chase them, but the mother, she's a runner. She never listened. We got her when she was one and a half. So we don't, we're not sure what happened in her life prior, but she does not come back until she is willing to come back. And the puppy, Cass, who's are not even 10 months old, uh, decided to follow. And they uh, got out of our sight. I'm in flip flops running after them in the middle of the woods. And then uh, they get to, get to a point where we have no idea. So my wife's in the car with the kids. She's driving. I'm like, all right, we we found this lady who's screaming at us because our dogs killed two of her chickens. And they were free range chickens. They killed two of her chickens. So we ended up having to, you know, pay, give her, I think it was like 40 bucks we gave her or something. Whatever we had cash on us, we gave her as compensation for her chickens. We apologized. And, uh, from there I went into the woods and I just started running through the woods. Uh, I'm, I'm wearing sweatpants, a t-shirt, and I'm wearing flip-flops. And uh, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. It started getting really thick, a lot of jaggers, thorn bushes and stuff. I push my way through it and there's a creek. I walk across this log across the creek. About 20 feet later, there's another creek. Looks like it's six inches deep. I'm like, pull my, pull my sweatpants up to mid-calf, start walking across. Next thing I know, <laughs> this creek is like waist deep so I get paranoid both my flip-flops get stuck in the water and I lose them so now I know I either got to find the dogs or die or else my wife will kill me right um or never let me probably divorce me I don't know <laughs> her dog you know she loves these dogs I mean I love them too but she's like really connected to them so I I ended up going uh barefoot for about a half a mile through the woods uh, I had no idea where I was really. I ended up looking on GPS and I saw that there was a road uh, about a little bit forward from where I was at. So I started walking in that direction and I start hearing dogs barking and I get there and it's just a dog on the side of the road. It's like somebody's house. I end up going a little bit further because there was a barbed wire fence. So I follow the barbed wire fence looking for a spot where I can get over because I'm barefoot can't get over a barbed wire fence go a little bit further down the road well, alongside the road in the woods and this whole time I'm talking barefoot stepping on branches pine needles stuff like that uh it's kind of painful and then i got to uh, i started hearing dogs going ballistic like four or five dogs barking real loud and it's kind of violently and i thought my dogs found another dog they're fighting oh my god i gotta get there and either save them or try to stop it before there's a lawsuit so i'm like running i sorry my fingers in the in the camera but i start running i get to a place where the barbed wire fence is intertwined with the chain link fence so i but there's nothing really to grab onto so i go up barefoot and end up falling down on top of the barbed wire and cut the hell out of my arm i'll see if i can show you the scar you kind of see the scar right there um it's not bad now but i mean that's over a month old well, about a month old and uh it just cut me really bad um got bruised and scrapes all over that arm uh but at least i landed on the other side of the fence so now here these dogs going crazy so now it's blacktop and off the side of the road there's gravel so i'm gonna run on the blacktop not the gravel mind you i'm still barefoot so i'm running my wife i called my wife told her to meet me on whatever that road was called and i'm running and i get to this area where it's like a high fence with green mesh over it and there's like 20 freaking 
look like uh, pit bulls. I, I don't know. I'm not an expert in the breed. I'm not an expert with dogs at all. And they were just going ballistic. So it wasn't my dog. So I just walked down the road. My wife ends up picking me up. We go back. We put it on all the social media sites. Call the counties. Like, uh, it's like a county has like a, a website for lost pets and stuff. Somebody actually reached out to us on the Facebook page saying they found them off the side of the road. They were only a half mile up the street. We get up there and we see them in the distance. I grab the bag of uh, cookies and stuff, the dog treats, run after them. The uh, mother sees me and she like walks away cause she knows like she's in trouble, you know? And then the puppy, he sees me, he like starts walking towards me, but stops, look back at his mom walking the other way. So he goes back with her. So now my wife drives up, she, they go, the both dogs go onto somebody's porch and there's like a dog inside of the house barking and they allow us to get them. But you know, as mad as I was at the dogs, I was the one that left the door open and I was just happy to get them because it took us almost four hours. Um, and I lost my favorite flip flops that I had for four years and I'm still butt hurt about it. I went to go rebuy them, but they're almost 50 bucks and I ain't got no $50 right now to really spare on a pair of flip flops. Um, so, but anyway, either way, dogs are safe can't can't see him right now but you can kind of see you kind of see him right whoa whoa sorry about that yeah right there and right there and uh but they're they're doing i'm outside right now it's dark but they're doing good they're happy and actually uh when we got to my mother's house because i said we went to pennsylvania first it was eight hours to get there of driving and then when we got there like three four days later she actually slipped out of her harness and we ended up coming home right at the exact time she slipped out her harness in the yard and she got out and we chased her for maybe 20 minutes and ended up she got trapped in someone's yard but like i said she she this is how we think her mindset is oh i'm gonna run i'm gonna run i'm gonna run I'm gonna have some fun you know i always make it back home so i'll be okay and uh we gotta figure out something, but you know, she's chipped. She got the, what do you call them, dog tag. Um, we're, we're probably gonna end up getting a GPS tracker on her. And I wanna also, well, so that's another thing, I'm gonna be doing a video for hopefully tomorrow or something. I'm trying to get a cup pump out at least like four videos here of how much better and happier they are here. It's insane on how much their attitude has changed. Cause now we finally have a fenced in yard with like a five foot high fence around and they're able to be free for the most part. We still tie them up unless we're outside with them the whole time because um, she's a runner and she'll dig out and leave. But, uh, and how much better they are. What I want to do is if we get one of those invisible fences, the electric fences, I don't know if they're electric or what exactly they are, like shock them or whatever. And I'd like to put it around here and that way see if it works with her. Cause I want her to be able to come out here and run free the whole time but it's like, we can't trust it unless me or my wife's out here. Even with the kids, we can't trust it. Um, but I'm be doing, I'm, I got three other videos on top of this one that I plan on putting out. But if you got Huskies and, and they like to run away and uh, just leave it in the comments. So I know I'm not the only one that has dogs that are runners. The boy, uh, Cass, <laughs> I, just, I mean, but he's a little bit too stupid to run by himself. Like <laughs> he, he's not the brightest uh what do you he's not the sharpest tool in the shed or whatever you know he, he kind of just does whatever his mom does i mean what do you expect he's a puppy he's only 10 months old barely 10 you know yeah he turns 10 months in two days so he's still young but if you like this video just like comment subscribe share if you want uh, i'm trying to put out and that's bad quality i'm just holding an iphone next to an outdoor light kids are inside figure i'd do this right now when i got time um just moved in i'm doing a video on my my thoughts of texas so far i lived here for i, I moved i got here on the first of december i got to my house to the actual place we're living at on the second of december and i'll talk about that and i'll also talk about the town that i live in which is clean i might also do a short video about my opinions on austin texas i only spent about eight hours in Austin driving Uber and uh, I might actually do a video on my thoughts about 
Uber and Lyft driving for both of those. And uh, yeah, um, so we'll see what happens, but I got at least three other videos planned out for you guys. Uh, but like I said, you gotta like, gotta comment, gotta subscribe. I'm fat. You can't, you know, I might not look like I'm fat to a lot of people, but <laughs> I put on a lot of, I weigh 220 pounds, most ever weighed in my life. Um, showing up in my new unit, I, I, I'm active military if you don't know. And uh, I got, I'm going to a school here in a couple months. So I gotta, I gotta get this weight under control. Just a mix of leaving my last unit, going on 30 days vacation, showing up at this unit during Thanksgiving, Christmas. I literally put on 15 pounds in, this, in the last two and a half months, which is absolutely insane and unacceptable. But I'll get it under control. And I'm sure by uh, next summertime, should be nice and fit hopefully like a 190 at max my wife is joining the military she's trying to at least she's trying to go back to the duty army as well uh wasn't a big fan of it still not a huge fan of it but um i think it'll be good for her. um so we'll, we'll see what happens with all this and uh like i said you need to like comment and subscribe and let me know what kind of video you would like to see. When I do the video with how healthy the dogs are doing, how much more they love their life, I will give you some videos of them out and about running around. So just don't remember, subscribe. I got nine new subscribers in the past 28 days. I appreciate you, I really do. I This is the only, honestly, without getting the subscribers, it's very hard for me to want to do a video it's almost to the point of like I, I I like doing them I like my dogs but at the end of the day there's no benefit for me doing it so I would very much like the more subscribers I get the more encouraged I am to actually go out there and do the videos and show you the dogs show you the town show you the house show you my life and uh if you're still here, I really appreciate it. That means you've watched 12 minutes and 23, 24 seconds of video. And it means you're awesome. And I appreciate it. So have a good one. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, please do.